Now, as part of our Mums on the Run campaign, Linda is in the kitchen this week and giving a, a whole new meaning to the term power lunch today. Yeah. Yeah. And super healthy. You mm. know, I want to do a really nice lunch so that people just don't think they've got to grab a sandwich or a wrap, which is, you know, all that kind of bread is not going I'll to... I'll tell you what, I was shocked. I was talking about this. I was shocked when I went in and you know how now they put the calories and the fat content Oh, yeah. Up? I couldn't believe, Just a normal sandwich. Yeah, like I think I think once you start... Five, six, seven hundred calories. Yeah, it's surprising, totally. isn't it? I mean, mm. it's a real kind of eye-opener, isn't it? Absolutely. So kind of ditch the bread and think about healthy stuff. So if you make it yourself, stuff. then you know what's going in there, Exactly. You? And I've started my, my soup with a really good stock. And I can make my own stock. Usually on a, a Sunday, if I'd had a roast chicken, I'd put the bones into the freezer right. and make a stock. Or make okay. it straight away. Mm. Dead easy. But there are some good stocks on the, sure. on the shelves. So start with a really good stock and then add some great flavours like chilli. I've got some chopped chilli. Garlic, if you like garlic. Mm, this is all my favourite things. Good, good, good. And the nice thing about this uh, soup is well, you're not cooking with fat at the outset. You know, a lot of soups you need to kind of sweat your onion with oil and stuff. So no oil no, at all no, here. No, no, no. So we're healthy. starting to put some good flavours into that chicken stock and fresh ginger as well lovely just grate it in mm. you know and i think fresh don't go for the powdered stuff or anything like that it's got to be fresh because okay. it's all about taste so that's bubbling away and then i'm going to put in some chopped veg now anything you have got in the yeah, fridge just throw it in. i mean we've got munch two beans uh peppers, corn, but honestly, don't worry about going to get a, you know, a big shopping list of all the ingredients. It's Whatever's really, around. Whatever's it's about. what you've got in, yeah. you know, it's, I make it with stuff that's just in the fridge that's, you know, mm. bits and pieces. So broccoli is really nice, but you want lots of it. Yeah. So loads and loads of veg there, that's and then that can just bubble away for a mm. little bit. They will take, you know, it's quick. This whole soup will all take right, about six minutes. That's really? All. That's good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So that is it. That's fast food, isn't that it? It's fast food. Really. And I'm going to put in some noodles. Now, these are ramen noodles, which, right. you know, it's given its name to ramen soup. It's mm. just a big bowl of Asian inf infused right. And these soup. are quite easy to get a hold of, aren't they? If you can't get ramen ones, can you just use normal noodles? It's Honestly, okay. any noodle will do oh, okay. whatsoever. So I'm just going to turn the heat up a little bit and get that bubbling away. Right. There you go. Okay. Okay, and um, I'm going to put salmon into my soup. So a big piece of salmon on the top. So good, clean protein. Oh, okay, that makes so, sense, right? Okay, gotcha. but you mm. could use chicken. Sure. You know, you could even put hard-boiled eggs on the top, whatever whatever you've got, really. I might not do that. I might not put hard-boiled eggs on it. I might do the salmon. <laughs> I think I'll do the salmon and the I chicken. Know, it's but nice. hey, it's an idea. And if you're a veggie, it's an idea, of course. Yeah, exactly. It's veggie stuff. And I'm just using a griddle pan because... Um, I, I love the lines that you get I on do. the griddle pan. Yeah. It, it, you know, and it, it gets that little charred taste mm. going as well. Mm. It's good. So you can cook uh, your salmon skin side down. That's seasoned and it's got oil on it already. So right. oil the fish and not the pan, and then you don't smoke everything out. Perfect. And then there it is, cooking away. So it's really good, um, and it doesn't take too long at all. Honestly, it's so fast, and um, it's easy peasy. I'm going to put some soy sauce in there. Okay. So you don't need to put any extra salt, because um, right. soy is it's quite salty in itself. Good few tablespoons in. And, and I'm looking for big, generous portions as well. You know, mm. I don't think you, you want a measly portion of no. this. It's got a really kind of... Is this sort of a family favourite for you, this one? I love this. I mean, because you can cook it so easily with whatever is in the fridge. It's Jessie's favourite, my daughter. When she's at, at uni, she makes it for the girls in the house. Uh -huh. And so That's they've good. all got this kind of recipe now. I love fitness and I love kind of keeping in shape. On the whole, I, I like to do something every day if I can. I think when I knew I was doing splash, I was really terrified about the diving, more so than wearing a bikini. One of the wardrobe mistresses said, Linda, you have to wear a bikini. I'm going, no, really? Oh, go on then, whatever. I got into running six or seven years ago. I started slowly at first, so I would do power walking, and then that kind of led to a slow jog and then a fast jog and then so I upped the scale of my running kind of incrementally. One of the good things about running is being outside because um, sometimes you know I can work at the computer all day and going out for a run just gives you that fresh air fix, you've got your exercise done and you feel amazing at the end of exercise. It really helped me um, to 
to sign up for um, runs, charity runs. So I kind of love this idea of a challenge being on the horizon. And there's a reason for exercising. There's something, an end goal. I am addicted to exercise because I'm addicted to feeling that healthy kind of um, just charged feeling that you get after exercise. So I do think the more you do, the better you feel. Right, so Ash's bedroom. Ash's bedroom. Oh wow, it looks like a completely different room without all of that furniture in it. Doesn't it look huge? It does, it looks so much better. Because I'm thrilled. Well, well, when you said to me, well, you said to the girls, I'm going to put a four poster in here, I was standing here thinking, you can't live in that <laughs> space. I want to put a four poster in here, I really do. Well, so my, my question really is, if you're trying to create a tranquil haven in your bedroom, which generally most people are, yes. how dramatic can you go before actually it becomes a bit too wakey wakey? I have gone dramatic with the wallpaper because we've got this oversized floral pattern, but the, I think the tranquil comes with that beautiful teal blue background colour. You can get tranquility with, um, with, with patterns like this. I think it's just a, a case of keeping the colours to connect it. Right. And these lovely kind of celestial blues uh, are very restful. So this is the blue that's going on. The, uh, how many walls are you papering in here? I'm papering two. Wow. Opposite. Okay. And I'm painting these two. I mean, I'm got a, I've got a big wardrobe here, so a right. lot of the bright paint will be covered up with right. furniture and, okay. and artwork. But very exciting. This is dramatic. I'll come back to see it later. <laughs> Last five weeks, more than five million of us have been sitting down every Saturday night to watch fearless celebrities take a dive in the name of entertainment. My next guest, she was rather good at it. Well, Linda Barker joins me now. You were really good at that, and you've got no previous. You hadn't done oh, it before. No, no, absolutely not. Oh. No experience of diving whatsoever. Why would anyone want to go on those <laughs> high boards? I mean, I would look at them in the in the local pool and go, well, you know, that's just standing kids. up in the air. It's too oh, scary. Honestly, I mean, I, I, when we first saw the boards, I couldn't walk up there because I was my heart rate yeah. right, was so high. Terrifying. Absolutely. But you had little Tom. I had little Tom. We Mentoring had... you, sorting oh. you out. So, and he was he was great, wasn't he? Absolutely brilliant. Fabulous guy. So oh. amazing. Look at that. I couldn't leave him alone. Look, <laughs> anybody that stood next to me, I was just like a limpet, <laughs> just holding on for support. And of course, everybody has gone on and on about how fantastic you look. It's been so amazing, Lorraine. I mean, I mean, it, I mean very, oh, next, I'm totally flabbergasted by it and really flattered. I mean, it's just been amazing, the support. And yeah, but you've been, you have got a great board. Thank you. You really Thank have. You. I mean, you you have already seen it, it now. <laughs> <laughs> you have indeed. There it goes. There's da, no, da, da, da. There's no <laughs> hiding in that bikini. <laughs> I know. Thank you so much and everybody that's been so lovely about So is this just luck or do you work out? Do you I do work out. Right. I've always worked out. Mm -hmm. I've, I've always sort of been someone that goes to the gym. I have a personal trainer in the gym. If I can get there twice a week, Great. early morning, I'll go and do sure. it. Get it out of the way mm -hmm. and then on with the rest of my life. And I love my yoga. Always ah, love my yoga. Now you'll be see Penny Smith does yoga and she looks she about does. 12. Oh, does she? Yeah, yeah. So, so I think that's probably I the way forward. What about eating? Do you sort of, you, you know, you... I love healthy Sensible. eating. I, I've always loved kind of healthy yes. food, salads, fruit. But you know, I'm no saint. I mean, I'll sit down with a big slab of cake like uh, hopefully everybody else, but it's just balancing things. Mm. You know, it's just having a sensible approach. No, it's food. fantastic. And something I have to ask you. How come your makeup didn't run off your face when you were, oh. when you came out of the water? Because <laughs> it's still, all the girls that stayed on. It's a special yeah. makeup. You well, it, it was yeah. The, the makeup girls were incredible. I mean, it was all waterproof mascara right. and, and face cream and all the rest. Of it. I mean, it was amazing. fabulous because you know it was a bit kind of you know we were all blinged up. All the bikinis were all sparkly. The full makeup, the full hair. Yeah. You know, for three seconds and, <laughs> and, and it, everything's like. <laughs> <laughs> well, but you drenched. still managed to look absolutely stunning with 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 wet hair. 
year. Well, that's, that's pretty good. Thank, that's thank pretty Lord, good. that's all I can say, but yeah. Well, look, now that, you know, you're sort of like a poster girl for anybody over 50 who looks fantastic, are you going to do something with that? Is it something you feel evangelical about or something oh, you want to do? I'm, I was so flattered with it all. And I think everyone kept on saying I was a bit of a role model, certainly for the over 50s. Um, but, you know, even the 40s, you know, just... I just love that, and I'd love mm. to build on that. And, and if I did empower women or, or inspire women, um, I, I think that, that was amazing. Mm. I'd, I'd love to kind of do more no, about for sure. that. And what I like about it is you are, at, I mean, we're doing a whole, a whole thing about natural beauty. You yes. know, in the competition about being, yes. when we say naked, we mean having no makeup on. But yes. you are natural. Natural. There's I been natural. nothing done. No, <laughs> You've not been tampered with. Absolutely <laughs> not. You know, it, it's, it's a bit of hard work, but I think there's no quick fix. But no. it's, it's about a sensible approach to life, diet, lifestyle, mm -hmm. being happy, being confident in your skin, I think, just speaks volumes. No, I do as well. Yeah, that's what it's all yeah. about. It comes from absolutely within yourself. Yeah. Still designing, obviously. That's the I day am. job. That's what you still do. Exactly. I'm still a jobbing interior decorator. Mm. I run an online business. And yeah, it's kind of business as usual, but the driving has been phenomenal. I have been in the pool, I think, every day yeah, in yeah. January. Yeah. And it's ju just been an incredible bubble and a learning curve. I mean, mm. it's made me a, a real, a stronger person because mm. of it. It's so, it was so demanding. Yeah. And it, it just took so much kind of guts and, and, and guile to go out there. And oh, you, you did it. A brilliant job. And we had a very place to be, Gabby. I cannot kid you. I mean, my nerves are shredded. I'm not sure people realise just how difficult and how scary it is being up here. And then you're going backwards. I'm going backwards, guys. I mean, uh, it's, I mean, it's unbelievably scary. If, if people are watching at home and think this is easy, then oh, get up on these boards or go to your dive centre and just walk up. Because then you'll look like this as you well. You'll look like this and you'll shake like this. <laughs> it's How fabulous awful. you look. It has been noted this week Thank you. Uh, yes, by I'm the nation. I am so flattered. Thank you so much. 51 years old. I am. The Thank you. competitor in the competition. I'm really proud that I've got it. To, to this stage, the semi-finals are so tough. It's been so tough training this week. The competition is unbelievable, and I'm really hoping that I've got what it takes. You're in it. Go I'm in it. it. Off you go. Good luck. This is it.